Hello and welcome to this training on meshing using OpenFun technology. So this training is focused on the Snappy X mesh. However, as you will see later, we will cover also a little bit block mesh just to show you how to generate the starting point to create the mesh with the Snappy X mesh. So I really like this mesh in a stage. No, this is a starting point of every simulation. So you need to do your best work when generating the mesh and also generating your geometry because it is the starting point so my advice is to understand well how things work so that being said we are also going to compare snappy with some other tools okay some other open source tools and also some other commercial tools just to show you how things work because as you might be aware if you have used OpenFun and if you are completely new, there is no GUI in Snappy X, which, which makes things a little bit uh, intimidating now because you know what is happening, you know, you have that visual reference. But hopefully after this training or a couple of, of, of videos, you will get used to do that and you will work in an efficient way. Uh, just to mention something that this training is based for the time of this recording in the Open Fund Foundation version, okay, Open for Open Fund 12, okay, so the Open Fund version that you find here, but however, uh, it can also work well with the uh, dot com version okay there are some differences i'm not going to go into detail because you might be aware or you will see later that there are many differences uh in the different keywords that you can put in those input files but however we're going to cover the most general files uh the most general uh, keywords also uh as i mentioned geometry is very important so we're going to do the meshes but also we're going to show you how to generate the geometry so here i have a few geometries that i generate and here you can start your you, you can already have your visual reference so for instance this is the first case that we're going to do the cylinder case and you can see that you have all your visual references location refinement boxes dimensions and so on so there is a lot to cover I recommend you to spend some time in the geometry so we're going to cover but that is not the main goal here is a snappy x mesh so as i mentioned there are many geometries that we're going to cover so 3d case we have the naka 0012 airfoils then we have the classic missing missing egg well just to show you something that usually you get a geometry like this now you get this internal part you want to extract the internal part now just to do the flow inside the pipe so this is the stuff that you need to know how to do it. Then static mixer, amet body, uh, mixing tank, very interesting case, many different parts. This we're going to put things into motion and so on. Then for those doing naval, we have this nice case, okay, how we create the geometry and so on. So this is just to show you a few of the cases that we're going to work. There is a lot to do. Honestly, I feel like I can do a case, a different case each week i will have time in 2025 to do every week okay so i will cover the most basic cases i'm going to show you some standard practices okay best guys guidelines and hopefully after three cases you're going to get uh, a good grid how to do things and then we're going to do more complex cases or i will listen to suggestions uh so the videos are organized as Follow first, we're going to do some theory. Okay, I think only three videos regarding general theory, and then we move to the to the cases. So if you are already comfortable with open phone and you know your dictionaries, go ahead and skip the videos. If you are completely new or you need a refresher, just follow the next videos related to the theory. And we don't get offended if you skip those videos. So thank you for your attention and see you next time. Bye.